Moving. We have been monitoring the developments in the search for six year old Faith Swetlick and a major development. Investigators have now released these photos. They're of drivers they yeah. believe may have some clues yeah. as to where she went. Important information mm -hmm. this morning and we've had crews in Casey, South Carolina since Tuesday as those investigators have gone door to door desperately searching for that first grader. And our Gina Esposito is back in Faye's neighborhood this morning and Gina, you got a lot to get to this morning. Yeah, it's pretty quiet out here right now. We're just across the street where you can see some blue flashing lights. Just in the last 24 hours, we have some new developments in the case of six year old Faye Swetlick. First, police pushed us back from across the street here, and they blocked entrances, as you can see, to limit the number of people coming in. Next, police want you to take a good look at these pictures. They released them late last night. Investigators say these cars were in the neighborhood Monday during the time six year old Faye vanished. They think the drivers could have information about her disappearance. Police also want you to see this video of Faye getting off the school bus around 2.50 Monday. The bus camera shows her leaving her seat. She's wearing a backpack and that black T-shirt that says peace. She appears to turn back and possibly speak to the driver before stepping off and meeting her mother. Faye's mother told police she walked with her daughter to the house. She says Faye grabbed a snack and went to play outside around 3.45. That's the last time she told police she saw Faye. Part of yesterday's search for Faye included police going door to door speaking with neighbors. They told us neighbors have been sending in surveillance videos from doorbell and security cameras to help in the investigation. We have received a lot of those videos and our investigators are working around the clock to go through those videos and look for leads and information that will lead us to bringing Faye home. Now, police, they've also expanded that search to Airport Boulevard to I-26. Coming up in the next 30 minutes, hear from a neighbor about their panic encounter they had with Faye's mother while she frantically searched for her daughter. Back to you. All right, Gina, certainly hoping people pay close attention to the new photos. Yeah. Just every hour, every minute really right. makes a difference. And we have those online as well, so you can get another look at them. Gina Spazito live in Casey.